Before we begin our study of the flame test, flame tests will produce light uh, because there are different elements that are put in the flame. Uh, we want to recognize wavelengths that are produced and I'll we'll study the waves a little bit. Wavelength is a distance from crest to crest. Uh, also, you could be the distance from trough to trough or any two adjacent points on, uh, any, on similar, next to waves. Um, the electromagnetic spectrum includes uh, things that are high energy and low energy. High energy part of the electromagnetic spectrum includes the gamma rays, x-rays, and ultraviolet. Low energy includes infrared, radar, FM, TV, shortwave, radio, and, and AM waves. Uh, it can be listed from high energy to low energy, or, and it can be listed from low energy to high energy. Here uh, you can see the longer the wavelength, um, the lower the frequency, and if you have high frequency, it has a short wavelength, and visible light falls in between that. Uh, once again, notice here we have our high energy waves, um, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma. In between that, we have visible light, and then the low frequency, long wavelength would be radio microwaves. The main thing we want to do today is do some formulas or do some calculations that we're going to be involved in the lab. These are the formulas we're going to use. The first one is speed of light equals wave frequency times wavelength. The uh, symbol you see first, frequency, is a number here. Uh, frequency uh, represents 1 over s or seconds or seconds to negative 1. Uh, wavelength is going to be measured in meters or nanometers, and we just mentioned what a wavelength is. Uh, so they, these are the two units right here they'll be using for the speed of light calculation. And also we're going to be calculating energy, and that's a second equation, which is E equals HV, or H uh, times frequency. Um, e, H is a constant, and that's Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. Um, and the units for hertz will be 1 over seconds again. And then we'll also need to do conversion in nanometers before we do this. So the problem we're going to do is one where you have the wavelength of violet light, which is in the range of 385 nanometers. And we want to do two things, uh, three things. We want to calculate the wavelength in meters, the frequency, which is 1 over seconds, and then the energy, which will, which will be in joules. So let's do that calculation. Uh, the first thing we want to do is calculate the wavelength. And to do that, we want to say we start with the number 300 and 85 nanometers. That's an N and then an M, sorry. So that should be in there. And the number of nanometers is going to be divided by uh, 1 meter over 10 to the 9th nanometers. That's an NM. And so you should divide 385 by 10 to the 9th. And when you do this, you should get 3.85 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. 3.85 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Sorry for the penmanship there. And now we're going to use this number, this value right here, to help us calculate the uh, frequency. So the frequency, we're going to use the formula, which is speed of light, C, is equal to wavelength times frequency. And we know the speed of light is uh, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So what we're going to do now is change this formula around to say wavelength is equal to speed of light divided by frequency. And so what we're going to do is take the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters, and all this is over seconds. And we're going to multiply that by the uh, 1 over the frequency, or 1 over about the wavelength, because we want the meters to cancel. So we're going to say 1 over the wavelength we just found, which is 3.85 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Now you should calculate these on your own and make sure you're getting the same values. And when you do this, let's see which number you get. The answer that I got for this was 7.79 times 10 to the 14th. And the units for this are 1 over seconds, because this is a frequency, 1 over seconds, because that's how many waves 
would pass there in one second. So that's quite a, quite a big number. Now we want to calculate the energy for this, and for this we're going to use a formula E equals HV. So, so, so we'll say E is equal to H and V. And for this we'll use a formula uh, which we had before, the constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule dot seconds. That's unit for uh, that's Planck's constant. And then we're going to multiply this by the answer we just found, which is 7.79 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds. So I'll multiply this by 7.79 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds. And you can see when you do this, like above, we notice that meters would cancel and we end up with one over seconds. Above, we notice the nanometers canceled and we end up with meters. Here, we're going to notice that these seconds are going to cancel and you end up with joules. Your final answer for this will be 5.17 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Make sure you can do these calculations when you come in uh, on your calculator because we're going to be doing these several times.